My passion here is the farm in, in total uh, because it encompasses so many things to do. And, uh, and I just enjoy doing it, and Ginger does too. The, the way the land is laid out and the way the house is and the farm, it, it's just so many things you see. You see the deer, you just, you see the hawk. It, it's just something all the time. When you got a farm, you got uh, fencing, you got a men, fencing you got to put in, uh, you know, the house upkeep. It's just something all the time, but I enjoy doing it. The pastures, the, the, um, all the heavily wooded, the mountainous part of it. That's one word of being, one type of tranquility, if you will, and, and getting close to nature, but uh, you still, I like to work. I had uh, uh, a physical and uh, my PSA number was up. So fortunately, my wife, she had an appointment with Dr. Lee. So I went with her to her appointment. And, uh, and I said, I brought my PSA reports and I'd like for you to look at them, see what you think. And he came back and he said, hey, we're going to do a biopsy right away. I remember when he came out from doing the, um, when Jim had the biopsy on the prostate, I was in the waiting room and he came in and, you know, called me back there and, and I asked him how, what he thought then and he indicated that he did think that it was, by his opinion, that he thought it was malignant. But well, we got the lab test back and in the meantime, he wanted to make sure of what he was dealing with and he wanted to do a body scan, he wanted to do a bone scan, he wanted to do a chest x-ray and uh, so when I went back uh, for another visit, uh, we were discussing the surgery and he said, well, he got another hurdle to overcome. And I said, really? He said, we spotted a renal carcinoma in your right kidney. So now I not only had prostate cancer, but I have kidney cancer as well. And that was a double whammy. So now I'm scheduled to have a robotic prostatectomy. And uh, I had surgery. And uh, really it wasn't bad. That was uh, a great experience to go through. Um, and I think I had a pretty quick recovery. In, in less than uh, four weeks, we removed the kidney, the right kidney. Well, the first thing that goes through your mind is, is if it is the beginning of the end, uh, what's going to happen to the farm? Uh, it's a lot of work for one person. Uh, that's the reason I said it's a team effort that Ginger and I both do this. And uh, that's the way we work. And uh, it really concerned me a lot uh, while I was basically incapacitated, uh, recovering, that she's picking up 50 pound bags of feed and, and seed and, and having to do that. And, and it just, I didn't want her to do that. I feel because Jim had both surgeries done robotically, his recovery went much better than he expected. You know, he was ready to fight back and, and get back on his feet. And he didn't want me having to do all the stuff in, by myself. You know, he was, if, even while he's recuperating, he's getting out the door wanting to go down and put the horses up and, and feed the goats and, and check the chickens and look around to see if there's any you know, of what needed to be done on the farm. I hate. I really hate sitting in a chair. Uh, I got to get up and move around. And uh, so I used my walker and I went out and I used my cane. And I walked the, uh, the driveway a little bit back to get my energy and, and strength back up. It was tough to watch him go through um, this experience. You know, you don't want him in pain. Of course, I was frightened too. I, was, I, wanted, it, I wanted it out. I wanted all the cancer gone. I wanted to see him get well recover where we could just live life better than even than what we were before because you get a after you've been through something like that you appreciate the little things so much more. Dr. Lee has always been answered every question seemed like he has all the time in the world 
to talk to us about anything. And then there's Sharon Bass, she's the robotics coordinator. And he had told us, said, you know, she's gonna be calling you and to, to talk with you guys and, and kind of work through this. And I don't know what I've done without Sharon, you know, cause um, she has been just wonderful to us. The moment I was on the field, I, I felt like I'm back. I'm back where I'm supposed to be. I'm cancer free. And, uh, and, and both my wife and I are doing what we love best, and that's working on this farm.